Hello viewers, it's Peter Elgar again, the funny old film bloke with ancient cameras with another treasure. Yeah, I keep getting given these. This time a gent has given me this one. It's a German one. It's called the Voigtlander Besser 66. So, uh, as its name suggests, it's, it's 6x6 format. It came in a leather case here, which I had a, a nice coat of Neats for oil on it. As you can see my video about Neats for oil and the strap, that's so it's all safe, all nice and um, neat, as the name suggests, Neats for oil. This is the actual camera closed, and um, we'll go through the features, how to work it. I found out how to work it now, there's no instruction book. You press this gently and hold it, don't let it flop out suddenly. And then I think you, you press this and it locks into position or you've got to just press the struts until it clicks, that's right. If you don't do that, your lens is not parallel to the film. You mustn't have that otherwise everything would be out of focus. Well, what's the features of a Voigt and the Besser? Well, it's got a computer shutter, German of course. It's got a Voigtlander 75mm 3.5 and the lens is a Voitar. Now I think that is a three element lens. So it's not the best lens and it's, it's so old it's not coated, not coated lens. And the lens was a bit hazy but I've cleaned it up as much as I can. The shutter is set here by pressing this lever, we'll show you in a minute. And this is the aperture, control, move it along here to the apertures you want on the scale and it goes down to f22. Yes, and, um, it's our export model. So the distances are in feet, they're not in meters. With a revolving focus. Now, the grease on that is very good. I think this is 1920s sort of era camera. The grease is still good. It's not flash synchronized because flash wasn't invented. Flash synchronization wasn't invented when this was done, and no delayed action either. Now, how do you fire the shutter? Well, the guy says there's a little lever here. He says, but it doesn't work. You have to poke your finger in behind the strut. And push a little lever here to fire the shutter. I thought, well, I can't keep doing that. There must be another way round. And there is. So we'll just, excuse me, I've got the hiccups. Would you believe it? We'll close it up a minute. The secret is you've got to have a film loaded before anything will work properly. It takes 120 film now there's a sort of a locking device here which goes underneath a little double clip so you move that out of the way and you press this and you open the back <coughs> and this is a, a, just the backing paper, no film in it now to load it you have to pull up these little sliding bits here and drop, drop a spool into there now I've carefully wound this on until number one appears <coughs> just past in the red window there. It's a bit difficult to see because the, some of the backing papers, the numbers are not easy to see but I've, it's been an Ilford film. It's a different start point to some of the other makes. So I found that out. I wound it past that until number one appears in the window there. We just tighten it up. Here's, here's a 12 on, that's a 16 on, and this is for the 8 on. So it's a 12 on camera, so we're looking at the numbers along here. Now the secret is how do you set the shutter and how do it all work? Well, you wind it till number one appears, then you lock it, and then you press this little lever and look in here and it says naught. You pull the little lever. And that, by magic, number one appears in there. So now we can open it again and play with the... Oh, clip this in position. Open it gently again. 
as I remember, like that, hold it gently into position. Yeah, we're all locked. Now we're on number one, so we can we can set the shutter. Now the lever, oh here we are, that's the lever, it will fire the shutter. We'll put it on a slower speed. Turn it till we, you can see a slower shutter speed. Play hot. Now we wind it. Wind it and it, number two appears in the little hole. It stops winding. Yeah, I stop winding now. Number two has appeared there. So you don't have to keep looking at the numbers in the red window anymore. It automatically stops at the next frame. So you can take your picture, pull the little lever. Which way? Yeah, well, then you wind it on again, set the shutter, pull the little lever, here it goes. That was um, half a second, but it sounds more like one second, because the bloke had never actually used it, he said. And that, all these mechanical ones with springs, it needs exercising. Now, when you come to this computer shutter, goes to a 300, it's not a 500. Um, get me. You turn it there to 300, and there's a massive difference with the spring. You've got to push that, oh, to set that shutter at a 300th of a second. And why didn't it go? I hadn't wound it on. See, it's interlocked. Ah, there we are, I know you, Take your snap now, because it's wound on. A 300, we don't know how accurate that is, but it's an extra spring comes into play at the 300 setting. So, as a, the only problem is it's a terrible viewfinder. There's a tiny little hole here. You've got to look through to frame it up. And although I've cleaned it as much as I can, it's, it's still misty. Now there's a screw here, but I don't know about undoing that one in case everything drops through and I lose it. <laughs> I'm not going to take anything apart at the moment. And um, I haven't actually used it yet, but I thought I'd show you and um, the workings of this Voigtlander Bessa 66. And hopefully I'll get some results soon. So there we are, a little quick rundown from the Voigtlander 66. Hope you've enjoyed it and look at some of my other videos.